Now, more than four weeks after Pakistan held elections, the country finally has a new prime ministerial face. Amid protests and poll rigging accusations, Nawaz Sharif's younger brother, Shahbaz Sharif, secured a majority vote in the parliament. But an uphill task on reviving Pakistan's economy awaits the incoming leader. Here's a report. <laughs> कि जिन्होंने अपने वोटों और अपनी मोहब्बत से मुझे आज इस एवान का लीडर ऑफ़ द ऑपोजिशन मंत्रफुक किया। A gaff even in his acceptance speech, Prime Minister Elect Shahbaz Sharif calls himself leader of the opposition. It was not the regular Sunday in Pakistan. The country's parliament was in full swing as members of the National Assembly chose their next leader in a critical vote, putting all speculation to rest. PMLN's Nawaz Sharif won the vote with an overwhelming majority, 201 out of 336 votes, well over the halfway mark of 169 that is needed to secure a clear majority. Soon after, Shehbaz Sharif made his first address as Prime Minister-elect, speaking for over 90 minutes, highlighting multiple areas of Pakistan's cash-trapped economy that needed to be mended. nothing is impossible if there is a will to do. It's a long journey, thorny journey, full of hurdles. But those nations who surmounted these huge obstacles they became again one of the most going nations around the world but the election of the prime minister and sharif's address was not a smooth ride aur ye kehna galat nahi ke mia mohammad nawaz sharif protests chants and sloganeering filled pakistan's parliament there was chaos from the Sunni Itihad Council benches, a party backed by jailed former Prime Minister Imran Khan. The younger Sharif defeated his challenger, veteran leader Omar Ayub Khan, who was backed by the PTI founder. The Sunni Itihad Council leader is the grandson of Muhammad Ayub Khan, who served as Pakistan's self-appointed president from 1958 to 1969 under martial law. Omar Ayub Khan managed to secure only 92 votes, falling well short of the majority threshold. The former energy and petroleum minister also addressed the parliament, taking pot shots at Shehbaz Sharif, accusing him of never implementing the rule of law himself, which he referred to in the preceding address. Khan's defeat, though unsurprising, triggered protests that once again shine the spotlight on poll rigging allegations that have marred Pakistan's elections. Following the February 8th polls, independent candidates swept the election mandate, winning 101 seats, of which over 90 were backed by Imran Khan's PTI. However, following weeks of closed-door meetings and talks on alliances, PMLN and Bilawal Bhutto Zardari's PPP decided on forming a coalition government. The decision was met with large-scale protests, not just from PTI leaders and other regional parties, but Pakistan's voters as well. With the swearing-in ceremony slated to be held on Monday, how Shehbaz Sharif navigates a Pandora's box of economic issues remains the ultimate litmus test. And with over 130 parliamentary members not voting for Shehbaz Sharif, a bumpy road ahead awaits Pakistan's Prime Minister-elect. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One. For latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.